Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today we're going to take a look at the Open Sesame app that allows you to use head gestures to control your mobile device. So let's take a look. Hey guys, my name is Shai. I'm with Sesame Enable. Sesame Enable is a startup company and we develop an app that allows you to control your smartphone or your tablet using head gestures. And what we do, we're using the selfie camera you have on your tablet or on your smartphones to track the movements of your head. So it's not an eye gaze technology like you might have heard in the past. It's different, this is head gestures. So the selfie camera of the device is gonna focus on the center of my head. And I'm gonna show you in a second, I'm gonna do little gestures in my head, with my head. And you're gonna see the cursor doing the same movements as my head. Once I'm stopping somewhere, I'm not moving anymore. You see a green bar charging. This is our dwelling click mechanism. It will open an action menu. And I can do tap, I can do swipe, I can do any action I want. And you can use any app on your device. So our app can interact with any app on your device. You can go on Facebook, you can play games, you can write emails. Anything that you'll do with your fingers, you'll be able to do with simple head gestures. We have hundreds of users around the world, people with spinal cord injuries, ALS, MS, CP, muscle dystrophy, basically anyone that lacks the hand dexterity to control a smart screen. So I'll show you now on my tablet. This is a regular Samsung tablet and I'll show you how I'm controlling it with head gestures. I'm gonna use the voice command to start the app and then I'm going to control my device with my head. So, okay Google. Okay Google. Open Sesame. Now I have the cursor on the screen that is following the movements of my head, taken it to the right, to the left, up and down. Once I'm stopping somewhere, you see the green bar and I have my action menu. And I can swipe, I can tap, I can pinch, zoom in or zoom out, I can do more action or I can just cancel. So if I wanna swipe, for example, I'm just gonna stand somewhere, I'm gonna pick the purple icon and now I have this line, I can just stretch it exactly like I would have done with my finger. So I'm gonna do it again. Stretching the line and I'm swiping. Again, stopping somewhere, I have an action menu, choosing swipe. Now I can use any app on my device. If I wanna go and go play Angry Birds, I'm just gonna hover over the icon of Angry Birds. I'm gonna press tap. And now I can just play a game. Again, everything with simple head gestures. If I wanna go back to the home menu, just putting my head down. If I'm moving away from the camera or someone is blocking my camera, there is nothing you need to do. You just need to put your head back, back where it was before, putting my head back and I'm getting back my cursor. If I want to Google something, I'm just going to press on the Google line. Now I have my keyboard, so I can either use my keyboard or just use the microphone. In order to use the keyboard, I have some more actions here, such as always tap. Now every time I'm dwelling somewhere, I'm going to tap. So just, just another way to write stuff if you are nonverbal or if you don't want to use the microphone. So yeah, that's, that's about it. There are no limitations to what you can do. Any app, everything you have on the Google Play Store will be at your disposal. And with the development of the Internet of Things, you're not gonna only get control over your device, you can also get control of your environment. If you have a smart TV, if you have a smart light, if you have a smart outlet, you can control all the electricity in your house with simple head gestures through your tablet. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.